Welcome to Raw Holla. Man, all right, man. Impala versus that. We were talking about them before. Impala, DreamHack San Diego champion, BCX current world champion, Zan, the notorious 2v2 player, 2v2 demon, trying to make a name for himself in the one scene. We got the Kaya mirror match going on right now. Impala with the classic Kaya drip, you know. This is gonna be interesting, man. I want to see will oh. Impala push him off of this character. I mean, most likely. I mean, just like you said, I think you're right when you say it's very hard to push Impala off of uh, Kaya. If you listen to Impala talk about the game, he, he's mm. always constantly talking about adaptation, able to snag that D sig. Twenty, uh, yeah, you're good. Thirty-five seconds in, not really touched on his first stock that much, but yeah, Impala talks a lot about the adaptation and the mental fortitude fortitude it takes to play the game and so I don't think Impala's gonna be switching off Kaya anytime soon. Zen on the other hand has got a few other picks. I'm pretty sure we've seen a Rayman and also has played uh, quite a few spear characters. I'm tempted to say that we've seen uh, Wu Shang and maybe one other spear character somewhere in the bag. That is actually a pretty cool spear skin. If you're going to be a spear main you kind of have to have a cool skin and I think Zen checks that box. Not you right now. Zen and staying in the game, he is behind a little bit on the damage lead, but at this level, doesn't mean too, too, too much. You know what I'm saying? He could definitely make a run, take the lead in this game. You know, Impala playing amazing neutral right now, winning most of the interactions right now, which is the reason why he does have this slight damage lead right now. D-Light recovery. Oh, GC side light not going to catch him. Right now, blow for blow, but, I mean... Impala looking to take this stock, or second stop pretty handedly, put himself in a nice lead. Ensign gonna catch it. Big hours coming out from Impala. Looking to take this game number one right here. Free choice of weapons, Impala weapon starves, doubles down on the bow. Meanwhile, we saw Zen earlier throw bow in favor of Spear, so I think um, that actually, I think if they're planning on playing opposite weapons as they do synchronized and light in the middle of the stage, if they're planning on playing opposite weapons, I think the chance of both of them playing Kaya a little bit longer, I think they both might play Kaya a little bit longer than expected. Although Zen is probably feeling a little bit uncomfortable thinking like, no, I gotta be on Spear. I think could be throwing at any time, but no, does not want to give up the pressure and tries to continue the ledge guard, charges up the GC side sig, Impala sees through it and starts to push Zen deeper and deeper into red, but Zen is able to push back. And although we have stocks even, Impala just needs like one or two more owls, and then we got ourselves one up on the board. That first one miss. For sure, I think one confirm might do the trick for Impala right here. Zen back against the wall. You know, he has been, and that's the Ooh. game. Man, Impala taking that game pretty convincingly, man. You know, no character swap so far. You know, Zen gonna opt to stay on that Kaya. Same map, Brawl Haven. You know, we got the super epic time coming on from Impala, man. What can I say, man? He's showing y'all why he is the world champion, man. Been playing that Kaya for a minute. I don't see him switching. He's not about to get diffed on his main. What does stop the glaze mean? <laughs> you mentioned super epic time, so I'm like, oh, we're going through we're going through clans. Like, yeah, that's a cool clan from Impala. I like that. What what is the glaze? He's saying he don't like glazed donuts, man. Ah, all right. Dude. Nah, but for sure, let's get back to the gameplay, my boy. Zen looking strong in his game number two right here. Big lead coming in, finding all his hit confirms. Nice there. Weaponless right now, but finds it very quickly. Paula, not gonna let this lead get out of hand. so far mm -hmm. at least that's just the first stock zen is pretty comfortably oh playing God. spear recovery just barely catches we're still playing a whole bit of footsies as uh zen could capitalize very very big here trading pogo dare after pogo dare and like keep impala at bay and we do have a weapon on stage so one person wants to run oh star for the other d light into nair you would have thought that would have been a recovery for a confirm he was out of options nah, yeah it is the NSIG to confirm, and Impala also catches that diagonal weapon, bro. Those are usually pretty hard to watch. Uh, catch for yourself. I mean, like, the game of catch for yourself. Those are usually pretty hard to do. Cutie, I mean, yeah, Zen on bow, able to snag a D Sig and free choice of weapons. He sticks on bow, actually. 
Nah, uh, yeah, and Paula putting the masterful spear work on full display that first time. Unfortunately, he did not have enough options for that recovery. Ended up finding the start with the NC. Now with both players on the ball, let's see what happens with these balls. Right now, Zen finding him, finding it. That was a neutral. Nice D sick off stage. Gonna put in Paula in a pressure situation. There catches. Nice D like round foul. Not enough though. Paul is still hanging in there. This would be huge if he gets this stop right here. What we're seeing is a lot different from game number one where Impala, you know, controlled the game, maintained the lead throughout the entirety of the game. But right Ooh. here, Paula flips the script and takes the lead for the first point of time in this game. Let's see a bit spear back in hand for Impala. Let's see if we can see some more masterful spear work. <laughs> Okay. Paula needs to try and stay in this second stock to keep a lead. Is able to dodge out of a lot of these uh, attacks that Zen is trying to throw at him. That's also another good thing to note. Impala sometimes has Zen read a little bit more than other times, but Zen does not have Impala downloaded whatsoever. And that is, uh, especially considering how the first game went, how the second game is going, that is a little nerve wracking if you're rooting for Purple Kaya. Because, mm. I mean, yeah, he goes down here, going down 0-2 is not something you want to do, especially nice, against man. the reigning world champ, but nonetheless, he keeps on marching, and that orange, I mean, a high defense on Kaya, definitely going to make that orange a bit less worrying to look at, but, uh, yeah, no, Zen needs to find something quick, Impala is still keeping his dodges so varied, so hard to predict, but also Impala starting to back off a little bit, respecting yeah. Zen's space, recognizing, I don't want to give away this lead too much, you're really, really, really chasing for it, so I'm going to I'm gonna step back a bit, I'm going to give you more steps to cover, and uh, I'm going to try and tire you out. Yeah, and Impala is showing you that candy cane is not to be played with, man. You know, <laughs> his spear is on full display. Oh. He throws it out the hand, not gonna connect. Bow in hand. Let's see what he can do with the bow and arrow. There we go, D light in there. Zan back against the wall. One confirm might do the trick for Impala. He does not want to go down 2 0 in the set against the world champ, like you said. Weapon star coming in from Impala. He's trying to end this. Both players in kill percent with the right hit coming out. Zen can't steal this game. Is the DC coming out? Oh, the dare's gonna do it with the outro. Come on, man, win, win. Oh my God. That entire game was so stacked up against Zen as uh, they're both repping different dream hack, uh, yeah, dream hack titles from this year. And, um, three. Yeah, we're going right back to Brawl Haven. And Zen also wasting no time. That was some pretty quick uh, character picks and map banning. They're wasting no time. We're not trying to catch our breath. We're trying to keep the momentum going. Sometimes you got to run an entire game off of the adrenaline alone. Right now, bow versus bow, and we are just going blow for blow. Yeah, well, like, I actually, no second guessing at this level of gameplay, man. You know, after you yeah, win like that, why would you switch? You know what I'm saying? But right now, Zan looking solid in this game number three. Light, slight damage lead in his favorite. Nothing too big. At the same time, nothing to be scoffed out. d sick puts him off stage. Ooh, there's not going to connect. Huge potential right here. Yes, sir. Exclamation points coming out. Yep. Applying pressure as soon as he sees the opening. Nice move, man. Oh yeah, no, Impala is really starting to lock in this game, realizing that that last game fell through his hands. Impala was winning the best of a lot of these uh, neutral, uh, yeah, these neutral engagements, but the moment it, it came time to close out the game, Zen just adapted too well and just got hit by less and less attacks. Keep in mind you, Zen was unarmed for most of that game and also still proving his dominance right now. Zen was unarmed for a considerable amount of that last stock. He still was just able to dodge out of the reach of Spears long range, land a few more bits of chip damage before sealing that game with a bow dare. So although that was sudden death, that was still looking really good from Zen to have some very good adaptation, getting hit by Impala less, win out more, win not neutral more and flip the script, but also just survive and clutch that game out. Nerves of steel on this purple Kaya right here, and is still making this stock last a considerable amount of time, and Impala really does not have Zen red that much at all. 
Nah, also, yeah. he's a very hard time finding his way in his end. My boy Zen doing a great job of extending his lead right here. And Paul is struggling to find that knockout punch, you know. And, and Zen taking full advantage of that. Oh, Nice read. Oh, doesn't get to extend off of it. Is he going to put Paul at one stop before he goes down? That would be huge. Yeah, Zen has finally had Impala downloaded. A lot of the nice. times, a similar situation with Luna versus Snowy. A lot of the attacks that Impala wants to place, most of them hit, but that uppercut's able to find its mark when it matters. Impala starting to clutch up a little bit more, and the pressure's getting to him a bit less, but still, there's a lot of like these um, these smaller interactions that he really needs to start winning more and have uh, really bring his success back from game one. <laughs> Nice sir. Knocking him yeah, off stage. <laughs> putting him on his last stock abruptly, man. Zen trying to extend this lead before he goes down. You know, he's in a position to take this game number three, go up 2 1 in the series against the world champ. That would be huge, man. You know, Impala, much more known for his Kai gameplay than Zen. Right now. Zen is yeah, Zen's really starting to pick up the speed, chase yeah. Impala a little bit uh, more around the map, and that's actually probably something that Impala was not mm. expecting, because Zen was playing pretty defensively the rest of this game, mm. but hey, maybe it that's what? what it takes to step this up. The moment Zen starts to try and pick up the pace in the game, saying like, all right, I'm in control, I can start having a bit more fun, Impala immediately reminds him why that did not work in game one, and I think Zen is really starting to take the note and realize mm. like, all right, yeah, no, I got too hungry, I gotta, I probably gotta put my floor down and uh, <laughs> stay a bit more calm, maybe hang a bit more back with climbing right. just a little bit more. No, yeah, he ended up stabbing Can't himself with the far. fork right there, man. You cannot lose this game right here. This would be terrible. You know, when you're up so strongly in a game like that, if you end up losing it, that could really be the momentum shifter. So, you know, fortunately, he had a solid lead. So right now, he is still in a position oh. to take this game. <gasps> That's Slash. it. The ground pound is going to do it. Paula steals the game number three, going up 2-1 in the set. That's got to hurt, man. That's got to hurt. Being in control the entire game and losing it like that. That's insane, man. Props to Impala keeping his head in there, not giving up, man. It's also kind of exactly what happened in uh, game two. Game three was just a complete opposite mirror of that one, where one player was in complete control, but it just takes drawing out that last stock to kind of clutch and steal it away. Oh, that's tough, man. That's tough. You gotta wonder what's going through his main brain right now. He gotta look towards the future though. He can't be looking in the past or that will haunt him in this game, man. All right, uh, already, Yeah, Paula's gotta be feeling good be. right now. <laughs> then it's probably gonna start to look into the future a little bit because like I said, I think he's still got uh, this red Kaya red a little bit more. And Paula is actually really starting to put on a lot more pressure. He's not even really choosing to attack after most of the times he's approaching and dashing. Really just trying to actually Zen's also taking note. They're both just trying to dash in and out. A little bit of Meg D tech as well. Just trying to bait and attack out. They're playing uh, for so much punish and they're playing uh, they're really just trying to get in each other's personal space and punish anything that the other player tries to throw out as Dila in recovery, not quite going to send, but Impala now has some pretty good stage control, and also the desig to bait out an attack to punish with the end light. Zen is still locked in, but the movement from Impala is also trying to step up a little bit. Ooh. Oh, first stop going to Zen, but he did a great job. He was down a little bit to start the game, but put a lot of damage into uh, Impala before going down. You know, so he's still in a position to take this game. He's not too far behind, behind as long as he gets that knockout punch quick. You know, he can't take too much damage, but there it goes. Nice. I was about to say Impala's racking up a little bit of damage to his favor. See what Kaya can do. Oh, Kaya going crazy right now. We got Kaya on Kaya, man. Nice end to catch the jump. Yeah, there it is. 
Impala immediately taking it back. Zen is now on bracket stock and needs to have uh, needs to have a repeat of that second game if he wants to bring it to a game five. And I think that means we probably having probably having the game slow down a little bit more. You can see both of them doing a little bit of a mag team. That, that's dash jump in and dodge out to try and get out an attack and then be safely on the ground to uh, find a way to punish it. So both these players, you can even see it again. They are so desperate to try and find any opening they can and just find a way to just barely open the door open, just a, just a jar, just a tiny bit before they can make their entrance. So we have damage even, but stocks quite the opposite. A lot more end lights and uh, Sarah's starting to miss. We're playing a lot more often Nairs than anything. So both of these players, yeah, no, they're being very careful, especially when I think the past five hits in a row at one point were Nair. <sighs> Oh man, Zen, you gotta do something ASAP. It's now or never. Whoa. One more confirm, and you're pretty much gone. <gasps> there it goes. Gets the stock. Now he's gonna have to pull out something crazy if he wants to stay in this series. Down 2 1. Back against the wall. Last stock. What can you do, Zen? Let me see something. Ooh, Zen starting to pick up the pace. That's really yeah. been in the back the first time that he tried it, but it's working out quite nicely. Although Impala's movement really starting to pick up to try and play the part and counter it. Zen also starting to chase Impala around a little bit more. He's starting to shift him down into orange soon to be red. A Nair going to give Impala some good stage control. Chooses not to uh, weapon starve and double down on Spear or Bow. Chooses not to uh, grab the weapon. At least cover his head from the uh, from Zen trying to find a new landing space. Yeah. Impala hit after. Hit the outro, this game. Oh man, you see the owl with the style points to end it, man. Like I said, man, that game number three, Impala coming back from something like that was such a momentum shifter for Impala. That was huge. That was pivotal to the series. And just like that, Impala steals the series going up 3-1. That's what happens when you play the world champ, man. Keeps his cool when he's down, pulls out things like that, and he's able to keep series in his control at all times.